What's up guys, Cody at Bass and Bones. It's Friday again, which means we are continuing with the vlog. You know, I'm calling it a vlog, I don't really know. I guess technically it's not the normal structure of a vlog, but we'll work through that. I, I started out saying, no, it's not gonna be very structured and just because of the way I am, I ended up having a little bit of structure. Um, right now we're talking about how to get sponsors. You know, last week we worked through uh, a few things, talking about just kind of how to position yourself and and gauging what you're worth and working on audience, things like that. Um, we talked a little bit back about, you know, how to get started fishing. And this week, we want to talk quickly about a uh, resume, you know. So you've gone through, you've started your fishing, um, you, you've worked up, you have an audience, you have friends, whatever, you know, level you're trying to get to. You have a good gauge of what you're worth and how many baits, rods, boats, trucks, whatever you're going towards. You kind of have an idea of, of what you think you might be able to sell. I talked about ROI. Um, for the company and would you sponsor yourself all those things if you didn't see that check back uh, last week should be number three or four um, we talked through that it's a little longer than uh, normal but um, that's why we're dividing them up so you know fishing whether you're doing this as, as a hobby part-time full-time and you want to have sponsors excuse me you're, you have to have a way to talk to these companies to reach out to them um, to kind of break down what you do because like we talked about in the last one fishing for a lot of people it, they don't really understand it they don't understand the promotional value of it they don't really understand how competitive bass fishing works you know a lot of people they think well how do you practice you just go out there and drown worms drink beer no I mean it, it's grown so much that people still a lot of people still don't have a, a handle on it and that's okay that's our job is to kind of help explain that to them. And, and the way we're going to do that is through a resume. Oh, no, the resume. Yeah, it's a job. I mean, it's it's how you have to approach these companies. Just like you were going to the comp a company for a job uh, as trying to become an employee. And you want to show all of your accomplishments on there. You want to show, um, you know, all the things you've done, all of your skills. Well, you know, if you're going into a, a place trying to get a job, it's the same thing. They're gonna pay you $50,000 a year. They wanna know that you're gonna help the company make 100,000 a year. Or else, you you know, if they're paying you 50,000 and you're only helping bring in 10, eh, your job might be on the line. So that's what I'm getting at. You know, we have to have something to show your worth to the company and the best way to do that is of course a resume. Now, what's gonna be included on this resume? And I may miss some of this. Um, Y'all feel free to comment. If you have any questions, I, I didn't say on the last one, but if y'all have any, any questions or anything, um, feel free to comment and I will, I check that all the time, I'll get to you uh, if there's something I missed. But, you know, with the resume, you can, it, it's honestly mine, um, is a lot like just a resume you would take to a, in, you know, to a job interview. You know, I have obviously, I talk about myself, I talk about, um, my accomplishments. I even have some accomplishments. You know, I, I went to school for environmental biology. I have that in there. Does it pertain? Because it shows, you know, that it, it shows that you're well educated. So you know, you, you, I, I think it's important to put your education in there because if you're speaking for a company and, and you're representing a company, like I said before, if you own a company, you want somebody that's going to represent you who is going to be professional. And by putting your education on that, it shows that you're most likely a well-educated professional person. Um, so definitely represent that you when I talk about accomplishments you obviously want to talk about your accomplishments as an angler you want to talk about past you know past tournaments maybe tournaments you fish uh, through you know trails I'm talking about tournament tournament trails but once you get past those basics you you got to start thinking I don't really, really want to say outside the box but Think back to what can I offer this company? It's all about, you know, if you're promoting your promotional stuff, it's, it's all about how much money you can make the company. It's how much exposure you can get. No matter what your platform or what your outlet is, it's all about that, that exposure. And so now, once you get past that basic, you know, bio, hey, this is my education, this is my, my history, you might even put some work history on there. You know, show, hey, I've been at this job for 10 years, I've worked the same job. I'm committed to this company. I'll also be committed to yours. You know, don't be afraid to put um, other jobs in there. It doesn't have to be strictly fishing related. And this is just my opinion. I'm not saying it's the number one way to do it, but this is what I think. I think it's important to show companies that you're willing to be committed to that company. Um, so anyways, you get through, you know, your, your bio or whatever you want to call it, kind of a quick about you, 
what you what you do and then your accomplishments and and some of the tournament trails but then you need to think okay i'm, I'm a company i'm a, a marketing manager or whatever i'm reading down this so what makes you any different than the other guy well start by going through there spend a little extra time don't don't take something in somewhere saying hey i fish uh i fish um you know ronnie's ronnie's bass trail down here okay well what does that mean spend a little time figuring out a lot of tournament if it's a large tournament trail they're going to know this they're you can contact them and ask them figure out how many people on average fish that event you know they probably have those numbers if it's a good size trail they're going to have these numbers ask for the analytics figure out how many people are fishing them figure out do they publish it online you know do they have a website they put it on facebook Say, hey man, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to grow my company as I'm sure you are all the time. Ask them for, you know, hey, how many views you get on your Facebook page a week? And is what I'm getting at is you want to figure out all the different outlets that competing in just that tournament trail. You want to figure out how many faces, how many eyes are you able to get this other company's logo, whatever. How many eyes are you able to get that in front of by competing on this trail? And is what you're looking at is you're trying to figure out when you go into these companies and show them, they don't care that you fish the number one bass trail in the world. What they care about is how many people you can sell products to. And when you can show them, hey, buy, compete, it's not that I compete in this, so you should sponsor me, it's I compete in this. And because I compete in that, because I'm there, I have a platform. You've built a platform. I am able, I have the capability of reaching this many people. Awesome. Now we're getting somewhere. That's going to make more sense to them because when you're talking to somebody who's in marketing or something like that, they care about how many people they can reach. They don't, you know, they would care about how many and what type because every year these companies are probably going to have some type of meeting where they decide, hey, you know, this year we want to go after this section, this market. And if you meet that, if the people that you're gonna be able to reach meets that, you have a pretty good chance of, of landing that job. Um, so go through there, you know, your tournaments and, and things, you have your basic resume, but go through there and figure out, you know, all the different tournament trails and, and different things you're doing, um, whether it's tournaments and, and whatnot, figure out how many people you're re reaching. Uh, it does take some work. It's none of this, none of it's easy. Like none of it's just gonna fall in your lap. It's a lot more than just, going and talking, hey, what's up? You know, it, it, that's not gonna, I mean, it'll happen for people you know, but those will fizzle out eventually, I promise you. Um, and then obviously go down, you know, it's always great to talk about, list in there, extra things you've done. Have you gone to schools and spoke? Have you gone to, you know, uh, other speaking games? Have you done fishing seminars? Have you done um, boat shows? Talk about those things. Those things are just, you know, more things showing that you're willing to do more than just take their money or take their product or whatever and run. There's a ton of people out there that are willing to take stuff and, and never be heard of again. Trust me. And that that does that one, it ruins your chances of getting you next year. And two, and this is a big one for me, I try to get fired up about it, but two, it ruins the chances for other people. I, there's a, one company in particular, um, that, that I've heard of and they have somebody on staff and this happens bef quite often they had have, have had somebody on staff before and they've almost shut the program completely down to fishing just because of one bad egg and so even if you don't <laughs> even if you, you don't think it affects people you know you're just there one year you take your money you take your product and run it puts such a bad taste in that company's mouth to where it can make it so tough for future anglers who are really hardcore, who are really hardworking. It, it puts them behind the eight ball already just because of your actions. So don't, you know, don't do that. I know I'm rambling, sorry, but go through and talk about, you know, after you kind of show your audience, your platform, you know, go through and then talk about other things you've done, speaking engagements, you know, boat shows, things like that, just showing that you're willing, you're willing to do more for the company than post a quick status on Facebook. You know, that's anybody can do that. Um, unless you have a million followers or something, which I'm very few people do, 
one little post on Facebook to your friends, hey, you might sell a few packs of worms, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not doing it. So show that you're willing to do other things for the company after you get your uh, sponsorship from them, you get your money, baits, whatever. Then, you know, when you work down through there, you have references as well. Try to find, maybe, maybe you have a dealer, you know, just like a normal resume, maybe you have a dealer that you've worked with for years that can vouch for you, you know, talk to them. Like I said, this is a job, you know, talk to people, not family and friends, but talk to people. Maybe you've, you've, you've been fishing a, a club tournament, talk to a few people. Say, hey man, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this. Maybe talk to your club president. That's a, that would be a good one. Talk to your club president and say, you know, hey man, I'm just trying to take this to the next level. Would you care if I put you as a reference on there? You know, and, and put tournament director. I know it sounds silly, but it's, you gotta start looking at it. You have to take it from a hobby to more of a job. You know, you have to start taking it a little more seriously and think about it like that. You know, these companies going back, if you present this to them, more than just saying, hey, look what I've done, look at my finishes. Um, you have these references and you have these, hey, you know, I've done these, this for these companies and you have, um, like I said, the references, it means a lot to them. Um, it gives them somebody they can call and, and figure out, hey, what is this guy actually doing? Is he just going out and drowning, drowning crickets with a cane pole? And if they call some of these people, they're gonna start getting a feeling that it's 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 legit. It's more official. Hey, and they hear a few more people say, hey, I'm really working hard. You know, that can be, that can be, or he's really working hard. You know, that, it, it helps when they hear it from, from someone else besides the person that's trying to get money or product from them. Um, the other thing, you know, when you're building a resume is you want to go through there and any exposure you're getting, and sometimes th this takes a lot of work, any exposure you're getting, um, go back and, and document that. Whether it's a newspaper, magazine, online article, some TV time, radio, anything that you have done to build your brand, whether that's your name and your, your fishing, go back and you have to document that. You need something, whether you photocopy it or you just put a link to the newspaper, whatever, you need to have something to where you can present them and say, look, I'm not just I'm not just talking, talking, I'm walking the walk. Here's the stuff that I'm actually doing. I'm not saying I'm gonna get on this newspaper. I'm not saying I'm gonna get in this magazine. I've actually done it and I'm gonna continue to do it, but I want to continue to do it with your logo, with your company um, behind me because I want to grow along with you. Um, and that's important. And, and because you're gonna be with a company that you truly believe in, it's all gonna be sincere because you do want to help that company grow. Um, so work up that resume, you know, like I said, have, have your little quick bio, have your tournaments, have your media on there, have all your extra stuff you've done. Work up some references, check out those tournament directors and, and fellow anglers, you know, maybe you have some anglers that are higher up in a business, you know, that can, can speak to your character and speak to your work ethic. Uh, those places, when you start approaching those companies, they will definitely, definitely appreciate it. Well, thank y'all for watching. Try not to keep holding it over too long. Next week, talk more about the um, type of uh, who you're needing to approach and different companies out there. You know, everybody goes after um, kind of the same companies, but there's some options out there. So check back next week. We'll talk about just, that'll be a quick one too, just talking about who to approach, how to approach them, what type of companies, things like that. So appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe below and check back next Friday at three o'clock for the next vlog. We'll get this wrapped up and then continue on. Thanks guys.